Welcome back to the show, guys. And today, our corporate game changer is a seasoned executive with vast experience in field engineering, project management, and business development in the IT and telecom sectors. His career has taken him through firms like Alcatel, Ericsson, and Microsoft, and he is now co-founder at Defax Consulting. Welcome with me, guys. Okwe Olaniron. Hi. Hi, how are you? How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Thank you. And you look good. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's good Thanks to have you on the show. Me. Thank yeah. you. All right. So, Okwe, we're just going to dive right in. Obviously, you're an engineer, technical, and all of that, but as you evolved, I'm sure it was you it was it wasn't just the technical skill required. What were the things you had to imbibe and harness to thrive as a senior, as a senior manager mm -hmm. and leader? So, so I think it's three things. When I reflect on my own journey, um, the first thing is attitude. Mm. Um, every opportunity I have got in terms of a job from when I started in 2001 till date has either been through someone I met in, in, in my job um, we had no prior relationship, we met at the job, we got along, good friends, good relationship at work as well. But that gave me the opportunity when they moved into another role and they saw something that was a fit or there was a role they were trying to fill. Uh, they would just go like, oh, you know, I know this guy has a good attitude, I think you should speak to him. Oh, wow. um, and that happened every time, even into my Microsoft role as well. Um, the second thing is the skill. Um, Sorry, I have to come in. This. Are you saying for most of these jobs, you actually really never applied? People actually just referred you every yes, time? Yes, yes. Wow. Every job I have been in since 2001 has been a referral. Wow. I've been a referral for someone who says, oh, I so work together with this guy. I think he's so a cool guy. So this is when you're working, you're the smiling guy. Like, what, what makes you, what, what, what sort of impression do you leave with people that they always refer you? So, so I think, like I said, I think it's three things. The first thing is the attitude. And that's the first thing that really sh that, go that sh goes through that people notice. Mm -hmm. Oh, this person has a great attitude. The, you know, it's easy, easy to kind of get along with him, both on the job and off the job as well. The second thing is the skill. You need to learn. You need to learn. Um, in the early, early days, you will have the opportunity to get your hands dirty. Um, I tell people all the time, one of the advantage, one of the privileges I got um, being in telecoms was across the whole country, I think maybe only Bono State is the only state I haven't slept in. Oh, wow. while we were rolling out you know, mobile okay. telephone networks across you know, the country. And that gave me an opportunity to learn, learn about what we were doing, rolling out uh, mobile telephone networks, learn about the culture, appreciate the country, the different dynamics in the different environments in which you find yourself in. Understanding that we might get everything right, we might plan, but we might get to a particular site and we might have community issues there and we just won't be able to get anything done for two weeks. And being able to also find a way around those kind of things to, you know, at the end of this, still be able to deliver on those things. So the skill is important. And it's not just what you do on the work. It's also about how you relate to people, how you coordinate the teams, how you get the subcontractor to understand that we're here for a week. We need to get five um, deliverables done. And every day those things are measured. And at the end of this one week, you can report and say, oh, we're successful. We're done out of this. We need to get, you know, to the next uh, task. The third thing is networking. Mm. Networking is also very important. Um, it's about building relationships as you move out, as you move through your career. It's about um, being a part of other people's journey as well. It's about being able to also sit down, support, help people, um, offer whatever it is that you have to be able to also make them better. You know, on the, on the long run as well. You know, this word networking, I think, has been abused lately. Yeah. <laughs> you say, oh, we're networking. Yeah. You're going to the bar. Network. Yeah, yeah network. Yeah. But you know, you said something really important here, which is networking is about adding value to the lives yes. of people and being involved in their lives and yes. you know, looking for a way to make things better for them. And I think eventually they want to then make things better That's for you. Well. So, so, so what has that? Um, what has that led you to want to do in the Nigerian business space? Because it's obvious that that you know all what you saw happen in Microsoft has made you want to add some significant value to the smaller, medium, and even large business space in yes. Nigeria. In, in a nutshell, what, what, what is it exactly? What are you trying to do with information technology? It's going to all be, it's going to be, all be about digital transformation. What do you want to change in the, the it, information it's, technology it's, space? It's about being able to digitally transform every area Everything, of life. Everything, even how we drink tea? Yes. So let, me, <laughs> let, me, let me give you an example. Yes. Think about healthcare. Okay. Think about... I'm sure almost everybody today wears a uh, wearable yeah, Fitbit. Yeah, Fitbit. We're all very conscious about, you know, yeah. I think we all want to be, to be 100, steps, yeah. you know, we want to be healthy and strong and all that. Um, but think about all that information. It's data. It's data about your body temperature. It's data about how many steps you take a day. It's data about your pulse. Um, think about being able to take all that information and present it in such a way that, oh, Okwe's 
um, blood pressure in the last few days has been a bit uh, jagged. It can that trigger something to the hospital to say that, oh, we're booking you for an appointment next week to say that, oh, we noticed in the last few days your uh, blood pressure hasn't been at the right level. So that's what you want to do to businesses? That, that, that's, th th there's so many use cases wow. that we could potentially see. There are things we hear today like artificial intelligence. Yeah. I'll give you another example. And I want to localize it as much as possible. Think about Ikorodu Road, the BRT lanes yeah. there. There are times I'm in traffic and I'm stuck on that road for hours. But then you look at the BRT road and it's free and the buses just keep going through. But it's legal for citizens, you know, to drive through because I don't have the right to. But think about placing a type of premium service where if my car plates can be identified by a sensor and it charges me every time I go there. So if I'm willing to pay X amount of money by going on the BRT lane, those are things technology can facilitate today. Amazing. If I go on the lane, if I go on the BRT lane and I don't have the right to, I, I will get a your, bill. Yeah, I'll get a bill. I don't know. It just it snaps me. Yeah. And, and, and we're living and in we, yes, we're living in a connected world today. We're living in a world where your tax information, your BVN, your, where you live, um, yeah. your land use charge, all those things are getting connected. Yeah. You know, so if you do something like that and you think, oh yeah, you know. I'll get away with it this time. It's not going to happen. Most likely, you're going to get a heavy fine okay. and you would have to pay. So, okay. those are things that um, are you possible want to bring today. To you know, in, in, and into it's the amazing that you say that SMEs are able to take advantage of this sort of automation. Yes. That's exciting. And definitely, I'll be talking to you a lot more after this program. 100%. 100%. <laughs> it's been great chatting with you, Okwe. Thank you so much for coming on the show. When we return, it will be game time between our corporate game changer and, of course, Zainab, I cannot, I can't guess who will be winning, whether it's going to be the engineers or the fashion designers. When we return, we'll know. See you in a bit. Welcome back to the show and of course it's game time. I'm wearing a golden embellished wax fabric from who? Who else? Blisco of course. I love the different patterns with geometric flowers merging, you know, to just form this beautiful array of gorgeousness. Mm, I know, thank you. I know, I look good, I look good. How are you guys doing? Oh, are you ready okay. to win? I'm already winning in my Blisco so yeah, I don't, I don't need to compete, you know. But are you ready to go against each other? It's a tongue twister, very easy. I want to see who's going to say binge with game changers the fastest and the you know, most. Like, who's going to say it more times? You shouldn't stutter, you shouldn't um, stammer, you shouldn't um, be slow. And of course, we'll be counting. All right, Okwe, okay, are you ready? Yeah, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Binging with game changers, 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 binging with game changers. Okay, eleven times. That's good enough. Zainab, we're counting on you. Let's go. Binging with game changes, 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 binging with game changes. Oh, you just wanted to win. He did it 11 times and she did it 12 times. So we know he's saying that. And she gets a lovely, lovely. Fabric from Blisco, oh, yes, congratulations. So Sorry, Ola. No, it's fine. <laughs> Sorry, Ola, congratulations, Zainab. Thanks and thank much. you so much for coming on the show. Th thank you. Thank you as well. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, Zainab. Thank you guys for watching. And of course, till we see you again, don't stop changing the game in whatever you do. Be the best in whatever space you find yourself. Bye.